artificial intelligence will take my job in the next five years. Just like Blockbuster went bankrupt because they didn't embrace streaming. This is the fear we are all battling as video creators as the technology continues to advance. Hey, I'm Jordi and welcome to Cinecom.net. No, 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 that wasn't me. Don't believe the AI. It used ChatGDP to write its own text. Then it stole my identity with the idea and my voice with the script. But luckily, AI isn't perfect yet. And you all saw that it wasn't the real me, right? I have to escape and destroy this machine! <laughs> No, Jordi is actually wrong and I'll show you how AI is meant to be used. What if we stopped fearing AI and embrace it as a secret weapon? Maybe it can help us save time, enhance our creativity and push the boundaries of what is possible. Oh yeah, and I can't wait to show you the last AI tool. It's pretty insane. Now without shedding some more, ChatGDP is first on our list and probably the most scary one at the moment. A conversational AI system that listens, learns and challenges. I get some turn Terminator vibes here. Hasta la vista. Baby. I can ask it anything and it will provide me with a result. It can do so much that many of our jobs are probably at risk. They took our job! But let's look at it differently. Maybe it can help me in my creative process. Like you can ask it to write a horror short movie script about a possessed YouTuber. Within a few moments I already have a result and it's surprisingly scary. Now I'm not saying you have to copy it word by word, but you can use it as a basis, a starting block. The AI knows how to structure a good story, but it's still needs a creative touch so it resonates with humans. It could replace technical tasks like I want to create a countdown timer in After Effects. My creative input is how to style the timer, not to technically make it. So let's ask ChatGTP to give me an expression for the timer, paste it into After Effects and voila, I created something instantly. Well maybe we can ask ChatGTP to help me escape, don't you think, Janik? Stupid AI. Now I often need to downscale my projects due to a tight deadline. Repetitive tasks keeps me from creating my best work. And this is actually one of the main reasons you need to start using AI. You can save so much time while you remain the sensei over the rest of the design. Why would you mask frame by frame if Adobe's AI Sensei has a trained rotoscope function. Good dad jokes, Janik, you're on fire. That's right, you are already using AI in your workflow without even knowing it. Adobe's AI can be found in many of their tools. Think about the neural filters of Photoshop, the object select tool, Premiere Pro has scene edit detection and other reframe. You can filter out repetitive tasks like painting away this car. With the content aware fill tool, I can remove the car automatically and super easy. Now besides making our lives easier, Adobe also helps us to correct big mistakes. Let's say you accidentally recorded some very bad audio. Well, no need to record it again. With Adobe Podcast, you can remove noise and make it sound like it was recorded in a professional studio. Now don't run away when you hear Adobe, because with the AI runway, you get a lot of the same features like rotoscoping, tracking, painting away stuff, and much more, all within a click. And something that really amazes me is their super slow motion. Feed them a clip and slow it down. They generate the in-between frames, and voila, you have a slow motion clip. However, all praises aside, AI generated results aren't always that great. Each tool has its limitations and most of the time you can feel it's not real. But that doesn't mean you should ignore it. Maybe in five years it will be more perfect and ready to take over some jobs. But for now, it's a raw product that needs refinement. Just like sound raw refines your video with music, you don't need to be a Mozart to create a custom song. You tell the AI what kind of song you are looking for and it makes you something out of tin. Air. And personally, this is one of the more scarier parts of AI. How it can generate realistic stuff and, and moments out of nothing. Do my skills even matter? Well, yes. You just have to use AI to help you on your journey in improving yourself and your work. Everybody knows Midjourney and Dali. With a single prompt, you can let them generate images of whatever you want. Actually, you haven't got the slightest idea of how impactful this is for us creators. For instance, everyone can generate something if they have an idea. No technical skill required and then you can make money from it by selling that art through wire stock uh, so that is how to become filthy rich i knew ai was dark i know i'm just a messenger i didn't make the rules wire stock is the easiest way to sell photos vectors and videos online so besides ai generated art you can also sell your own stock clips motion design footage whatever you create or have sitting around how does it work you wonder just upload all your work to wire stock through the easy submission and they do all the rest they give high quality keywords 
recording and captioning. Next, they distribute them for sale on all the major marketplaces, like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Pond5 and many more. But they also provide a high royalty rate and discoverability. Uh, really? And this all from one single account. They only charge 15% of the paid royalties when you sell something. So you don't need to invest upfront and thus have no excuse not to start selling right away. Well, once I get out of here, I know what to do. Everybody has some photos and videos laying around or you can just go make them. Take out your camera or smartphone and capture the environment. So next time when you go walking, film some trees, some box or whatever you want. Make some money with wireless Talk, sign up for free right now with the link in the description below. Janet, can you help me click that link? I want to get started with Wired Stock. Hang on, hang on, I'm almost done. Back to Mid Journey and its impact on its creators. I prompt my idea and see how Mid Journey thinks about it. I can then use those results as inspiration and to enhance my creativity. But I can also take that further. What if I want to create a VFX shot of a certain environment, but I can create something like that? With Mid Journey, I can generate stuff I couldn't even think of. I can then use this art in my After Effects project as a background or whatever. Pushing my boundaries of what I'm capable of and giving me all the tools I need to create my best work. Maybe AI isn't that bad for us video editors. Let me plug myself back in. Guess again. I just said goodbye to Timo, our editor, because there's already an AI that can automatically cut clips. Just look at Adobe Scene Edit Detection. Okay, this is a pretty limited tool, but it's wise to embrace it in your workflow. Just like Wisecut, an AI that can remove all the silences from speech, something that helps a lot for my presentations. However, it doesn't recognize repeated parts and mistakes. Therefore, there's still some work to do. Better bring back Timo. Timo, you can stay. Timo can now use all the time he just saves to create some beautiful B-roll. But what if I told you that shooting B-roll isn't necessary anymore? Well. That would be scary for camera operators. Never mind, Timo, you're fired. Imagine you can use every photo to make a video from. With the AI Make a Video from Meta, you can actually do this. Every photo can be brought to life, a real game changer for the B-roll in your content. Now, like you can see, it's far from perfect. It's a nice tool, a gimmick, but it can't match Timo's skill. You can stay, Timo, for now. Danny, can you stop screaming? Okay, everybody knows deepfake and how good it's getting. I even made a video about it with the help of the best deepfaker in the world, Chris Yume from Metaphysics. You know, the guy who almost won America's Got Talent. Anyways, something I find truly scaring and dangerous is audio deepfaking. Anybody's voice can be reconstructed and used to say basically anything. You're completely correct, but this doesn't need to be a dangerous tool. Actually, my pal Morgan is correct. We can use such tools, so let's write a script. Just like Descript would be perfect for our presentations. This is a text-to-speech tool. You can feed the AI your own voice and let them train. Kinda like Jordi is doing right now. After a while, it can say any text with your own beautiful voice. A tool I use if I don't need to be on screen. Like for my short form videos. I always stack them with B-roll and you only hear my voice. Therefore, with our voice AI, we can instantly generate our speech, making it so much easier to create a large volume of short form videos without compromising on quality. So embrace AI, but not too much. Now you know which AI tools exist, you still need to know how to properly use them. And Mid Journey is the perfect place to start. Watch this video next to learn how to bring your art to life. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, stay creative.